So here we are, we're back with an, yet another episode of SA3 TV. I have been going a little bit crazy with uploads this week. I think this is going to be my third upload this week. So yeah, it's going to be my third upload this week. But I thought I'd make this video for you guys because it's been a requested video. Um, just basically about the common faults that people are coming across within the MQB range of cars. For example, like the Audi S3, the Golf GTI, the Golf R and the Seat Leon Cupra. Now, Ibiza Cupra and the Skoda VRS. And these are all very, very, very similar common, common problems, which I think I should talk to you guys about. And obviously, like I said, from my experience. Right, so I am going to talk about one of the most common faults that Audi or Vargs of Volkswagen Audi Group haven't picked up yet is the thermostat and the water pot problem. This has been an ongoing thing since I believe the full, I think it's the, yeah, so from 2013 to to now, as in 2020. So it's take it's still it's been that many years and they still haven't identified the problem. So it's the water pump and the thermostat issue. Basically, the housing is plastic and over time when you're driving, uh, the plastic gets warm and then cold, warm and cold, and that starts to... Uh, cracks slowly inside and then obviously it cracks and that's how coolant comes out and that's been a very very common issue and that's flooded through my dms with people saying that i've come across this issue and in my previous videos people have mentioned that um so i felt i feel like that's the first problem that i think i should raise with you guys if you like i said if you guys are considering buying a car like this just remember to get it done as soon as you, as soon as you buy the car uh, either ask for has the water pump and the thermostat been done or, uh, or if the car's under warranty just take it in. I mean, I had issues with the warranty, but whatever's done is done. All right, I'm I'm actually hoping the camera can see me because it's getting a little bit dark, but I've put, the, put this light on, so it should be all right. So the second issue I'll be talking about is, oh, this is this is the one I came across, and I made a video on this. So I did make a video on the thermostat, the water pump, and I also made a video on the injector seals. So I think this is, I think this is more of a design flaw from what I can see. So the injectors are pretty much embedded in, in a way, it's quite, it's quite a hefty job, it's about a three, four hour job, literally underneath the manifold. Uh, so you've got to take the manifold off and that's where the injectors are. And I think the way the injectors are, put, are inserted, uh, the rubber seal around the injector, uh, it, obviously it rubs off eventually over in time. And I feel like that's what the common issue is. Like I said, it's a design flaw. And I came across it when I was about, I think it was 32, 33,000 miles on the, on the cars. For, I have to I have to recall that. I need to go back because I made a video on it. So the link is in my description. Right. So all the vehicles that I mentioned before, if you guys have the optional extra of Bang & Olsen uh, stereo system, um, sorry, speaker system, um, some of you experience an issue with the crackling noise. Uh, I've had five people message me previously about this issue. Um, they mentioned that there's a crackling noise within the speakers and it's and they've taken the car back to Audi, but Audi can't seem to resolve it. Um, either that or I'm pretty sure people, some people said to me they just pretty much got it replaced. Right, so as you guys know, I'm proper into my mapping cars and exhaust and stuff, right? So there's another problem which I want to talk to you guys about today is hold on i wrote in my notes because like i said i've got a memory of a fish so um i'm not slating any um, mapping companies i'm not saying anything bad about them so i've this is the sixth person that's come to me and told me about this issue um so basically uh stage one apr map there is a problem i feel like there's a problem within the software that's making the car misfire not a minor misfire, it's all four cylinders are misfiring. So just to let you know, if you guys are coming across this issue with APR, it's pretty much just a software problem. Just go back to them, hopefully they can resolve it. If not, just go to just go to another company. It's as simple as that. Um, that has been a, a real, real conversations thing for me within my DMs. People have mentioned it to me. I've given probably just the basic stuff like, okay, it could be injectors, it could be spark plugs, all that stuff none of that they all got it replaced one person did mention it to me and i gave him every single answer i could but i still couldn't identify and i asked him is the car mapped yes who is it mapped by apr i did my research i looked on forums and 
this is this is a quite a common thing it's basically the software i don't know what is in the within software it could be a glitch i don't know but it's making the car misfire so all four cylinders are misfiring so i think i feel i should just give you a tip of the day for anybody that's modifying their car uh, or mapping their car dsg uh, so it's a DSG car. I re highly, highly, highly recommend getting your DSG mapped. I say that is because when the cars come out of factory, the DSG gearbox is very sluggish. Very, very sluggish. I mean, I should know. I went from um, a stock DSG, a DSG map, so TCU map, to a stage three. It was a stage two uh, map. Absolutely game changer. Massively, highly recommend it. Even if you're not going to just get the DSG mapped, it, you, you'll you know the difference. Trust me. I'll put the video in my link in description of my, my pretty much my reaction to how it was before and after. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Let's get to 600 subs by end of the month. Take care and make sure to stay tuned for weekly uploads.